Hey, it's Kelly from WooWooWoman.com, WUWUWoman.com. I wrote a book called Synergy, A Modern Healer's Guide to Complete Bioenergy Wellness. And I thought I'd do a quick video today um, explaining a little bit about transhumanism. I just touched on it briefly in my book. But basically, in my book, I talk about how the people who consider themselves to be those in power, the so-called elites, control system, those, let's say, for example, like at the World Economic Forum, um, they've been talking a lot about transhumanism. If you listen to some of the clips from their meetings, in fact, that guy, I forgot his name, but he's the top advisor to Klaus Schwab, has said some pretty crazy stuff um, about hacking all the humans and they want to um put stuff in our body that where they can di quote it's digital surveillance under the skin they want to track trace control us with stuff that's in our body it's essentially merging yourself with your technology and putting your phone in your body um and the problem with this of course is that um naturally human beings we have the, anything our technology does we can already do naturally with our body we in my book i have a chapter about dna that talks about how our dna are actually transmitter and receivers of information that help us to create our reality to send energy to one another which explains the science behind distance healing for example um, and all the stuff that this technology does, it's just mirroring what we can already do. We're already this technology. And currently on our planet, perhaps you've been noticing like all the dark stuff has been coming out for awareness and things are getting less dense and more energetic. Um, all the darkness being exposed, uh, that's because it's a very exciting time to be alive. It's We're in the middle of the ascension or in the law of one. They call it the harvest. Where human beings are currently moving from third density, which is, you know, a lower frequency. It's a bit more dense. It's very duality, good, bad, um, light, dark. Um, so we're kind of transitioning out of that going into fourth and fifth density right now. And those in positions of power that, let's say, at the World Economic Forum, the Bilderberg Group, and those billionaires that, you know, buy off our politicians and control the media, control the stories the media are giving us. Um, it's not in their best interest that we are happy, healthy, spiritually evolved um, we're not that easy to control that way. So they're kind of trying, if you haven't noticed, to clamp down on us, um, which may explain, you know, some of, um, I can't say too much because of censorship, but some of the events of the past few years, some of the wanting to force people to put certain materials into their bodies, um, all that kind of pressure. And what they used to do is this control system, maybe some people will refer to them as colonizers, and it's basically, it's the same thing. It's the group of people on the planet that are looking to control and oppress other humans. Um, and they used to use religion, because back in the day, we didn't have all this technology. We, you know, people were really into religion. And so, and they, people like, shamanism was practiced all over the world we had pyramids that were almost exactly the same almost identical all over the world so our ancient ancestors were very connected to the cosmos connected to spirituality and they knew how to connect to the source themselves and the control system doesn't want that they want to be the source that is controlling us so they're going to come in you know with Back in the day, it was their religion. They're going to come in and be like, no, you can't practice this religion or whatever the spirituality you're doing. It's wrong. Um, you have to go through our middlemen at the church or whatever it may be. 
and now they have all this technology so they're just going for, and we're we're evolving <laughs> and we're starting to see what they're doing so they're just going for it and trying to get this stuff in our bodies that's going to let them have an influence over our behavior or that's their goal um so and they're they're doing it i mean we've seen the pressure that's been around at, at whole food you can go to a whole foods right now and they have a pay with your palm thing cuz they want to put everything inside of you and if they don't like how you're acting maybe they can turn it off maybe you know what i mean so uh, i just wanted to give you guys a little warning about that and let you know that i definitely will not be participating in the transhumanism agenda and i hope you guys will be skeptical of it also and maybe not trust the people that are pushing it um like spirit now it it's spirituality is more open. It's like people are practicing what they want to practice and it's okay in mainstream society. Um, but that's because that's okay with the control system because they still want to control the narrative. They figure, well, if you're discovering how powerful you are spiritually, but you're following their narrative and rooting for the politicians that are pushing their agendas, then they're okay with that because they're, you're going to be doing that work to push their agendas. So that's why I wrote a recent blog about discernment for healers, light workers. Um, just be very discerning with the information you're taking in and make sure you're not accidentally supporting the negative agendas. Um, for me, the positive agenda is human beings being free, happy, healthy, um, and evolving and not having this control system clamped down on us to say no to it. So I don't know. I hope this little talk was helpful for you guys today. And definitely if you're interested in learning more about how to take care of your wellness and kind of skirt around these nefarious agendas, you can find that information in my book, Synergy, A Modern Healer's Guide to Complete Bioenergy Wellness. Um, if you go to www.woman.com, you can link my book, my newsletter, my shop, everything there. Thanks, guys.